Yeah. What are you going to do? Fully nude. Watch this. What now? What now? What now? What now? What now? Now this man, Chris DiStefano, DiStana, Fana, Nana, pulls up Brian's shirt and just starts playing with his butt. I am the American dream With a spindle up my butt till it makes me scream And I'll do anything to get ahead I'll lay the falling into the easiest, dumbest yeah. shock comedy. Well, it's not even that. There's something else going on. We haven't figured it out yet. We're still in the midst of figuring all this out. We're definitely not going to figure it out today with my head where it is. I got to show you this one. This is the most... This one bothers me more than any clip I've ever seen, okay? And I've seen Louis J. Gomez suck Big J. Okerson's dick. I've seen Louis J. Gomez 69 Big J. Okerson. I've seen Big J. Okerson eat out Louis J. Gomez's ass. I've seen Big J. Okerson eat a uh, dump, a live dump from Gomez's butt into his mouth and then spit it into Dave Lucas's throat. I've seen it all. This one bothers me. It's from Fighter and the Kid. It features Brendan Schaub. Do is your, your whether the autoplay. Brendan Schaub, Brian Callen. Wait, it's not right at the beginning. beginning. Yeah. Brendan Schaub, Brian Callen, and this comedian that I despise. He's a newie. We've never brought him up on the show, I don't think, ever, ever. Chris D. Stefano. I fucking hear. Chris D. Stefano. This is all I had to see to make him an enemy for life. Wait till you see this clip. Some of you have seen this. This happened. I'm going to play it. Here it comes. So it's a free country? These were made, Cat made these okay. drinks? Starts out with Brian Callen, the best comedian. By the way, if you're one of these people, I go on Reddit and I see millions of people hate Brendan Schaub, and they're constantly bothering him, but at the same time, they're all fans of the fighter and the kid, and they just pretend, oh, I like Callen, it's just Brendan. No, no, no. Cut the cord. You're not allowed to love this show and then torture Brendan Schaub every day. Just stop watching the show. You know, if you really hate Brendan Schaub, stop watching all of his shows. That's how he's making his money. And then you can make Callen start hating him because if everyone's tuning out because of Brendan, then Callen's going to start hating Brendan. Ever heard of a rift? You got to start the rift because these guys go after Brendan Schaub like hardcore. I didn't realize how deep the Shab hate was. You're looking at it. It's like how they were going after Kumia for those few years on the ONA subreddit. Like they're digging it's amazing. everything <laughs> that he Fighter does. In the kid Reddit, you can but then it they for have hours. no hate. Listen, if you hate Brendan Shab, you have to hate Callum. That's his enabler. You know, but they all want it. They want it both ways. Oh no, I love Brian Callum. He's great. It's Brendan Shab that's the problem. No, no, no. If they're best friends, and Brian Callen would do anything for Shab, he would die for him, and he hates all of you who bother Shab. So you must stop watching. Bootlegs only from here on out. So this is Brian Callen. He's at the fighter and the kid. The show starts off in an awkward way. They're in the offices. Watch this. These are Crocs. You're going to die when you see this. And this is when a man decides... No, and yeah, someone says, nothing is funny about Callan either. He's horrible. You know, it, it's like, it's the same thing with like Colin Quinn. Just because there was this one moment of time where like Joe Rogan convinced you that Brian Callan was cool one time and nobody unconvinced you of it really yet. Yeah. So that's still in your brain. It's like with Colin Quinn, all the old Opie and Anthony guys are like, Colin's the best. No, no, you're thinking of when Opie and Anthony was at its height and Colin Quinn was on there and he was at its at his height. But he's not that anymore. Every time I look and at- And nobody has bashed Colin Quinn yet, so they haven't un- you know what I mean? It's time for Brian Callen is nothing. You do not need to ever be watching him. Every time I look at him, I think of that behind the scenes clip where he walked into that room with Rogan and was like, the funny just doubled up. Yeah. That's as crazy. I mean, as he's anything horrible. This is a Brian Hollywood actor well. vanity guy. I mean, this guy gets treatments. 
Like, this guy is one of those guys who, like, constantly is putting on, like, eye creams so that he doesn't get wrinkles. <laughs> he is a Hollywood bimbo. All right, watch what happens here. He is what he's worth. The bread is going to put hands on him. So, guess what? I'm ready, and I'm going to meet him halfway. You can barely hear what they're saying. So he's walking into the studios, and this is where they film their... What's up, brother? Podcast, this corporate environment. He's walking up to Brendan so Schaub. Look at this. What are you doing? Brendan goes, What are you doing? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? What are you going to do about it? What did I tell you if you do what are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? And then Brian Callen fully pulls down his pants and starts shoving his full dick and balls on Brendan Schaub. And it's not, no one in the room goes, What? Brendan doesn't even care. He's just like, ah, oh, damn it. Stop putting your dick on me. As if this is a common occurrence. Now we're going to show you this whole thing. Chris Stefano was sitting over here. De St what, what is his I name? don't know. I always thought De Stefano. Oh. But what, who's right? De Stefano. I don't know. Watch this. What, I tell you what are you going to do about it? What, I tell you what, you what are you going to do about it? Fully <laughs> nude. Watch this. <laughs> what now? What now? Now this man, Chris DiStefano, DiStana, Fana, na, na, pulls up Brian's shirt and just starts playing with his butt. I don't know. So I don't Lord. need to know anything else. I hate him more than anyone. Brendan Schaub is not, if this was happening to me, I'd be screaming. There would be, literally, I would go to the police. I would be screaming and I would go to the police. Is Chris Stefano gay? No. Like not at all. No. So watch this. <laughs> what now? What now? What now? What now? What now? What now? Huh? Uh, uh, I'm speechless. <laughs> he pulls up Brian Callen's shirt, starts spanking his butt cheeks in the middle so that he's also hitting the anus. He's arousing him. And oh by the way, Brian Callen is shoving his dick and balls into Brendan Schaub's mouth. And they're all laughing as if this is fun. Here it is again. What now? What now? What now? What now? What now? He put his finger in his crap. I mean, it's everywhere. I... Have you ever seen anything like that? And then it, the day just continues on as if everything's normal. Nobody even cared about this. Let's watch I've some more. I've seen on the Fighter and the Kid Reddit where I do all my okay. research, people are always talking about this clip where Rogan says that one of his uh, friends is like a closeted gay guy and won't yeah. tell anyone. Did we watch that on the show? Maybe. But do who do you think Callen? it is? No, Callan was married for about 15 but years. But now they're saying he's so much happier. He's oh, blossomed yeah. out of his Maybe marriage. Maybe not. He's a whole new guy. Well, I mean, it doesn't matter. You just don't do this. And this is sexual assault. Here. What now? Huh? What now? Here you go. Here you go. Look at my balls. I pulled out my nuts. Now, shut the fuck up. You're, now you're a tough guy? Now you're a tough guy? No. Well, this is too bad. Keep your old life right Joy that they're experience experiencing it's it, it, uh, the complete opposite of what I'm experiencing. The joy, the pure joy of the nudity and the touching of each other's parts. This to me is a fifty cent orgy. No different. No different than a college fuck fest or dare dorm or a college rules or party hardcore. Or that thing where the dancing bears, their bear heads. Do you see this? Just guys wearing bear heads, they're naked. <laughs> you ever see that? Uh, yes, all the time. You Some have. Of my favorite. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Don't fuck around. In his butt. Hey, 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 hey. All right? Now, sit down. Don't slap your nuts. Put your nuts away to your dog. Oh, you're so And that guy, for lifting up his shirt and grabbing that ass? Like that? I mean, he didn't even know what was going on, but his first impulse was to grab that butt. I got to show you that again. That <sighs> really disturbs me in a way that I've never been disturbed. This guy does not know that this prank's about to happen. 
and just his first instinct is to get in there and start playing with Brian's butt. Yeah, you're hearing it right, audio only listeners. Watch this. What now? What now? What now? What now? What now? I, that to me, I mean, the guy should be locked up. So I'm really, really upset uh, about that. Was there one more? Was there one more uh, male nudity? There was Jeremiah point? Wonders. Doing male nudity? Yeah. New? New well, stuff? remember he posted that Instagram oh, story. Oh, I don't care about that. I thought there was something else. Let's take a break and come back and make midnight tacos. You want to do that? Should we do that? Are Sounds we ready? Good to me. I'm midnight. Ready We're going to do midnight tacos. We're going to hang out. We're going to riff and make midnights. Yes. You guys ready for that? We'll take a quick little break. We're going to start setting up for midnight tacos. And uh, then we'll come back and we'll... We'll start cooking. It's going to be a big... Everyone go grab a drink, grab your taco. Yeah. Is anyone cooking along with us Is today? anyone cooking along with us? That's a, a great point. We'll explain to you the whole process and uh, what we want to accomplish here today. When we come back, we'll see you soon in a second on the mighty and powerful Red Bar. We'll be right back. Sex. He Would likes you say I'm like slightly sapiosexual. Sapiosexual. Yeah. What the fuck he, is that? He, it means you're uh, turned on and, and it, it, I like intrigued by intellect and mm. intelligence. Yeah. I really, bro. A smart girl. Mm. Bro, 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 bro. He likes intelligence, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. What the fuck he, is that? Yeah. yeah. Smart girl. It's a big mic, 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 yeah. mic, mic, I can't mic, even explain mic, it. I know for you guys, like, intellect, you don't even notice the difference. For a guy like me, yeah. intellect, a smart girl, shit. And you know where Logan found him. 